rubber seal is soaking in some hot water to uh, make the rubber more pliable so that we can get it to go in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a chrome strip out, find our, our seam, and Most cases, you're not going to salvage any of this stuff. That's an always replace item, pretty much. Yeah, you might be able to salvage this, but most usually they're so old and faded they're not worth salvaging. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the seal out, make our lives a lot easier. Headliner actually comes in around this and actually goes into the uh, windshield. It's actually inside. It folds in under the uh, oh, under the seal under for the, the windshield seal itself. Okay, so, so <clears throat> this is an ideal uh, situation to actually be needing to replace the windshield as a result of us also needing to put in a headliner. New headliner in at the same time. Okay, is that unique to the Clubman or is that? All the late model minis. So we're in another mini, uh, same late, <clears throat> later car where we're showing where the headliner, this car actually even has a sunroof, but you can see where the headliner comes down and it actually goes and curls and tucks up underneath the front window seal. And that's what we have to do in the car next door. As you can see, we're fitting the new headliner in right now inside the car. This is where it comes up. You can see that there's a lot of extra material that hangs down that gets tucked into the door seals and the rear window seal comes up and gets tucked into the window here. Obviously not all that material but it'll get trimmed and then the window can go in. do is we want to find the, the seam in the rubber. We want to position that at the bottom. The big side should go towards the windshield. 
Yeah, this will go on the body work. What's going on the windshield? Put the seal on first. Work it all the way around. Make sure you get all the way deep into these corners. Corner or so started. Work around. Use lots of soap and water. We get the corner started, we can start sliding it in. <clears throat> the slicker the rubber, the better. <clears throat> so make sure that we're not pushing it off center. That just makes life a little bit more difficult. <clears throat> You do need to be careful when you're, if you're using a metal object for this, you don't crack the glass. You don't want to put any pressure on the glass. Keep it all on the, on the rubber. Screwdriver to rubber. And keep it away from the glass. Slowly working our way around. Make sure that this doesn't pop out. <coughs> Start it too.
barely have a lip on there. Not to be all the way in yet. So once we get it on there all the way around, it'll just pop right in. We need to get something right under there. Here it is. Pops down like that. Set. That's She's in. step one. <laughs> <laughs> now the filler strip is gonna spread that out. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you gotta get it wet again for the channel strip, right? Yep. Okay. That's the insert that goes right down in the channel after you've got your glass installed. And ours is kind of a chrome piece of plastic that's going to go in and it's going to separate that and keep, it's going to push on both directions, sort of widening the channel to keep the window in place. So ideally you want a filler strip tool like this. Pick one of these up just about anywhere. Sells decent tools. Basically, it helps you pull up the rubber and insert the seal at the same time. You do it with a screwdriver, but it's a lot more difficult. <coughs> we are going to make use of a screwdriver. Help us out get started. Again, you're starting in the middle of the window. Yeah, this time we're going to start at the top. We're going to put the seam for the chrome insert at the top rather than the bottom so that we don't have seams in the, in the same place. Corners are particularly hard. Take one around the corner. It's a lot tighter here. As you're putting force on here, you need to be prepared if the tool slips, you don't want to mess up your paint. You need to be prepared if it does slip to catch it. If we get a little bit that comes out like this, it's not a big deal. We can go back with a screwdriver and just kind of work that back in. Plenty of extra strip. Now, it's also important here that we actually cut this really long and we basically really force it in there because this will shrink. If you cut it exactly there, after a year, you'll have a gap down like that. Make 
sure these are nice and square. So essentially, we're going to butt those together and then work it in. like that and I'm just leaving that little thing. Little little fixer spots you need to do. And touch up. That's all she wrote. New windshield, new rubber, new filler strip. 